Hello, what is up everybody? Day 9 of the daily upload grind. Today we have the top 3 best point guard builds on NBA 2K20. Tell me in the comments section down below your top 3 point guard builds. Of course, at the end of the video, I'll give 2-3 to three sleeper point guard builds for you guys to check out. So if you guys like any of these builds, go try them out and tell me how you do. If you already got these builds, do you like these builds and you reckon 2K20's build system is actually good in NBA 2K20? Now with the three, the first one I'm going to show you, you can have three, you can have like three to four different names and I like this build, okay? It's possibly, the, it's my third favorite on the list, okay? But then I've got my second and first. So first up we have the pure shooting pie chart, okay? Now since the behind the back has now been eliminated out of the game, a lot of builds that have no dribbling hardly, but you can still dribble. You have like an 81 ball handle. When, it, when you're in 99, you can have your 85, 86 ball control. When takeover, it boosts it up as well. So with this, you just need 83 speed. Don't need a vertical. Don't need strength. You just need the max speed, okay? So with this build, it's a pure shooter, but it can do a lot of things. So look at this. You can have 30 shooting badges, okay? With 30 shooting badges, you could do a lot of the game. I'm going to show you, you can actually do a lot of dribble moves in this game. You can do the, the certain dribble moves. You only need like a 75 ball control to do most of the dribble moves in NBA 2K20 now since the behind the back has now been eliminated, as I said. But obviously, I want to upgrade the close shot driving layup and driver dunk a little bit because close shots, a lot of people want to cheese with the close shots correctly. They just want to do close shot fade, stuff like that. Now, with this build, you can either be 6'3", 6'4", or 6'5". You have three different names for 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", okay? But I'm going to go with a 6'3", version, okay? I'm going to show you that in a second. But as you guys can see, so far, we've got 30 shooting badges. We're going to have 13 playmaking, and we're going to have seven defensive badges at the end after I've tested every little thing i looked at every little aspect on this build and i figured out what's the best way to have the most playmaking finished um shooting and defensive badges obviously you don't need finishing on this build because you are a pure shooter you don't get any rep for finishing but with a 72 driving dunk a 60 driving dunk i mean 72 driving 11 85 close shot you could do basically every, everything you still dunk the ball and stuff like that but that is the final badge upgrade spread. As you guys can see, when you're 99 overall, you're going to have a 99.3, 99 mid-range, a 99 free throw. You're going to have that 89 close shot. You're going to have, after touching on the, my, my wingspan and stuff like that, you can have your ball control to an 85 and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty fun to play around with. But I wanted to try and get some more playmaking badges, but I didn't want a certain name. I wanted to get a good name, okay, for you guys. But it's up to you. You can have the 15 playmaking badges and get... I think it's called a playmaking shot creator at six foot three, or you can have a scoring machine, or you can have a sharp, a sharp shooting facilitator. Okay, sharp facilitator is at the six five, six four is the player shot, and six three is the scoring machine, and that's the build that I got today. The scoring machine six foot three build. As I said, you can have three different names depending on your height. But as my third favorite point guard build in NBA two K twenty, if you agree, leave that like, man, it'd be greatly appreciated. Now let's come on to the second build on the list. So scoring machine, I see a lot of people running around with this build. Remember, it's a sharp facilitator, play shot, or a scoring machine. It could be either three names. It depends on the height that you have. So go check them out. Now the second build on the list is basically my favorite build. Now this build can have three to four different names again. Remember, it just depends on your wingspan, your weight, your height, stuff like that that changes, and a little bit of attribute if you touch the attributes a little bit, you play around a little bit, you can have certain names that you guys want on these builds. But this is the build I'm looking at for the second position. Again, it's a point guard. I'm going to go right-handed because I tried left-handed on my, most of my builds and I can't really shoot on them. As soon as I try to right-handed shooter, I can actually shoot better on them. So that's one I want to stick with. Kobe Bryant, 24, rest in peace to Kobe. Hopefully, you're living the best life up there in heaven. But now we got shooting and finishing pie chart, Okay. Now, the shooting finishing pie chart is possibly the best pie chart for a point guard because you can do everything with this build, okay? You can dribble, you can shoot, you can drive, you can defend. It just depends on your height and how good you are at defense and how good you are at rim running and shooting, of course, you can time a shot. Now, with the physicals, you can go to the top one, but you don't get as much vertical. With this one, you get 91 vertical and you only lose like a four speed, which four speed's nothing in this game. Got an 82 Excel with a 56 strength. That is really good, and that's the best physical profile that you can actually get on this build. Now, I'm going to look at the bad spreads in a second. Now, you can have a little bit of different bad spreads, but I want to go with 16 finishing, okay? Now, the reason I want 16 finishing is I have my Hall of Fame fancy footwork, Hall of Fame contact finisher, my Hall of Fame... I can have my bronze... What is it? I want my bronze Lob City finisher, my bronze... I can't remember half these names. 
giant slayer. I want to have my consistent finisher, all that sort of stuff. But as you guys can see, I'm going to have 16 finishing, 21 shooting, 15 playmaking, or 13 playmaker. took it down to 13. And then I'm going to have eight defensive badges on this build because if you're not going to hit legend, you might as well have the most defensive badges you can. You don't really need that many playmaking badges in this game. If you want to just do ankle breaks, you want an ankle breaker and you want to have... I can't remember the other one. I'm sorry. But you want ankle breaker, of course. You want to be able to break ankles. And you need your dimer. You need your handles for days. You need your quick first step. Stuff like that. You need bronze unpluckable. Bronze bailout. Bronze needle thread if you guys want. That's really all you need. Now with the body shape, as I said, it doesn't define anything. It's just, it's just for aesthetics, okay? Now with the height, we're going to go six foot three. Minimum weight as every build I'm going to go with on the point guard list, okay? I don't want to make them too small, too big. And I'm going to go one above minimum. So my slashing ability can be improved. And I still have an 85 ball control off the rip, okay? And with the slashing ability being uplifted, you can get more bodies and stuff like that. Now with the takeover, I'm going to go with spot up shooter, but you can go with play anyone that you want. I made a video on which is the best playmaker. Takeover, so top right hand corner of the video, they go check that one out, man. We greatly appreciate it if you go check that out and leave a like on it. But we're going to go with spot up shooter for the takeover because I want to be able to sharpshoot because you already can slash, dribble, everything like that. You are called an offensive threat. You could be either an offensive threat. You can be an inside at playmaker, or you could be a floor spacing slasher. The floor spacing slasher is my favorite build in NBA 2K20, but I had the best Brad spread because it's the point, top point guard builds for non-legends, okay? But the floor spacing slasher is the best for a legend because you have everything that you guys need, really. Now, for the third and final spot on the list with the top three point guard builds, of course, of course, I've told you at the end of the video, I have some sleeper point guard builds that you guys could go check out, okay? But we're going to go with left-handed once again, the point guard version now, with this potential, this build is actually the most hyped build on 2K20 right now. Especially if you hit Legend, this build is unstoppable. But right now, if you don't know how to time a jump shot, this build will be a little bit difficult for you guys. If you don't know how to rim run, this build is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit difficult. But you can learn how to rim run a lot. I can rim run perfectly easy. So my shooting is a little bit off because my incident's so bad. If you have bad incident, this build's not really for you. I highly recommend you putting on the offensive threat. If you have really good incident, know how to time a shot, know how to rim run, and know how to play defense, this build is unstoppable now with the physical profile we're going with is 94 speed and 95 vert so you can catch them big bodies okay now with the finishing badge you're going to go with 11 finishing badges you can go with the other 11 or 12 i'm going to go with 11 because remember contact finisher fancy footwork is all you really need for this build okay then you can have your giant slayer bronze and stuff like that you know consistent finisher bronze but we're going to have 11 finishing now with the shooting you can only have max 10 shooting badges okay so that's what we're going to have. Max of 10 shooting badges. Playmaking badges, we're going to go with the 20 on the list. Okay, I don't want to go too much. And you want to have 20 defensive. So with 20 defensive on this build, you can clamp up any build. 20 playmaking, you can do anything, any playmaking badges you want. 10, 10 shooting, you'd have your gold quick draw, range extender, or your green machine, or your hot zone hunter. And then 11 finishing, as I said, you can have your contact finisher, your fancy footwork, your giant slayer, a consistent finisher. That's all you really need for this build. But that is the badge spread for the third, the best build in NBA 2K20 for the point guard list. Now, a lot of people are making builds on this. I personally don't like it because it just takes no skill, okay? It's a really a skillless build. It's the most skillless build in the game. But I can't say it's not the best one, okay? Because it is really good. And that's why it's skillless, okay? Because most skillless builds are really, really hard to defend and hard to beat, okay? Unless you leave him wide open and he's 50 and he bricks every shot. If he's 50, leave him open because you just sit paint and I'll sit mid-range and make sure he doesn't blow past you, which is a little bit difficult. I want your weight minimum, 6 foot 5, of course, because you want to have a bit of height. Now we're going to go with the minimum wingspan, but one above minimum, okay? So you still have an 87 ball control. 87 ball control, you can do everything, okay? And you have that one bit of extra inch on your wingspan so you can catch more bodies okay and get a little bit more steals a bit more interceptions stuff like that that's what you do it now the takeover i'm going to go with is playmaking i would recommend going with sh shot creating or it's up to you guys what you want okay it's really up to you guys but i'm going to go with playmaking so i could break ankles and stuff like that but the build is called a two-way slashing playmaker that is the top build on the list okay guys if you guys want to make any of these builds some in the comment section down below if you made any now for the sleeper builds we've got playmaking shot creator as i'm showing you right here playmaking shot creator has been my favorite build since the start of the game but i have changed it up to the floor spacing slasher which is another sleep on build which just had a little bit less mid-range and has a bit more finishing and a little bit more defense okay it's a perfect legend build 
And then with the playmaking shock credit, you could do everything with this build. It's literally a demigod at legend. And I don't think there's any really other point guard builds you can use, to be honest. Unless you want a, th a sh three level scorer, if you really want that. But tell me in the comments section down below, what is your favorite point guard build on NBA 2K20? What point guard build will you be rocking with in NBA 2K20? If you agree with my list, leave that like. Hit that subscribe button, because 90% of you guys are not subscribed. We greatly appreciate it if you could drop that sub. Try to get to that 50k subs. Daily upload grind until we hit 50k. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Peace out.